Hello, my friends. Our topic is facing the future. Our devotion comes to us from Revelation chapter 10, 8 and 9. Then the voice that I heard, heard from heaven, spoke to me once more. Go, take the scroll that lies open in the hands of the angel who is standing on the sea and on the land. So I went to the angel and asked him to give me the little scroll. He said to me, take it and eat it. It will turn your stomach sour, but in your mouth it will be as sweet as honey. My friends, the open book in this passage is nothing but the plans of God for the near future. God has given you the future and ask you to experience the power of God's plan in your life. My brothers and sisters, your present may be tormenting you. Your present may be full of tears and worries. Your present may be disappointing and rejection. Your present may be without genuine love and true relationship. But praise the Lord, your future will be an exciting experience that God is inviting you today to experience. The question for today is how to face the future. My friends, the future may be confusing. Your future seems troubling, but it is up to you to plan or organize your future with Christ Jesus. So the question is, how to face the future. Number one, Isaiah 41 verse 10. Don't fear to face. My friends, it is true that your world is scary. Your world is full of bitterness. Your world is full of hatred. Yet God has given you a chance to redesign and design your future. Therefore, don't fear over your future. Your sun may not shine in your life, but you can create your own sunshine. You can give thousands of chances to become strong, but never give even one chance to become scary. You are failed when you think you will be failed. Number two, Judges chapter 6 verse 14. Don't plan with others' opinion. My friends, your failure is always based not on your own thoughts, but someone's opinions and comments. Never leave your life with someone's hand. Don't leave your life's remote control with somebody's hand. You handle your own emotions. You manage your own feelings. You administrate your own thoughts. Be the king of your own world. Be the designer of your own future. Never leave your life with somebody. Number three, Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse four. Don't be unrealistic. My friends, never expect any unrealistic things. Learn to accept your life as it is. Never curse your life just because some things you anticipated is not positive. Never accuse anybody just because your life is messed up. God has given you the future for you to design, for you to decide. Think well, plan well, implement well, and live well. Here is the hope for you today from Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. My friends, leave your life in the hands of the Lord and he will prosper you. Let's pray. Heavenly God, many times, our lives became failures because we depended 
upon somebody's opinion, somebody's suggestions, somebody's comments. But today, you are teaching us to cast our lives in your hands. When we cast our lives in your hand, our lives will be prospered. Our lives will be progress. Our lives will be developed. Thank you so much for the hopeful destiny that you have set aside for us, dear Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.